shot for four. A good drive with the ball, David Bias. No, just pushing that through a little bit quicker there. Just trying to chuck up the batsman on leg stump. Oh, the first misfield. And an expensive one, too. That's gone straight through for four runs. That's a fine shot. Effortless, beautiful timing. But that was excellent. Uh, lovely front foot play. Well, that's a big hit. It might well be out. No, it's all the way. Certainly an element of risk in it. Went straight over the fielder's hands, but uh, well timed again. Yard. He just sort of took it away off his hip. That's what he was talking about. Anything on his hip. That's a good shot. Almost pointless getting chased down there so fast. Plays that shot well and times it well. Very short, that ball. He's picked it up beautifully, more or less with a, with a straightish bat. It wasn't uh, an all-out pull shot. Very good stroke. Wins by wide margins in the Benson Hedges qualifiers against Nottinghamshire, Worcestershire and Scotland put Yorkshire into the quarter-finals. You know, might not have got the volume of runs that, uh, that, I, that I needed at the end of the season, but in one degree I felt, you know, form was, was pretty good. Championship cricket was form was sort of indifferent, sort of iffy and butchy, and uh, I never really got off to the start that I'd have liked. And uh, it, it's difficult then picking it up from there, but um, when I didn't get them, somebody else did, so it was, it was you know, a relief on that side. Bias, with his first 100 in the competition, was undefeated on 116, That's a fine stroke from David Bias. The outfield is slow, understandably, because of the rain. Well, he's picked that up off uh, what I reckon to be middle stump and smashed it away through mid-wicket. It's not the sort of stroke that's going to uh, inspire the bowler with any great degree of confidence. Oh, and another one. Lovely stroke again. Won't quite go for four with the slow outfield. Oh, but that uh, bias will pick up three runs. So a boundary and three in the show for Martin, which has just been completed. And it's ten for Newick. To, to the Harrogate Festival and were made to struggle as Bias and McGrath put on 272 for the fourth wicket, a stand that hasn't been bettered for 75 years. Ekersha to 205, and when they came to bat, the crowd sensed that this was to be the captain's day. I mean, I try to do that every day, but yeah, that was just one of those days when it uh, when it worked, and uh, and we managed to achieve that. But we wanted a win over. I mean, we say you don't like coming second to them twice in the season, and uh, certainly not three or four times. And Sunday league went very well. Sunday, and Yorkshire coasted home in just 24 overs. That was Yorkshire's penultimate fixture in yet another competition that they came desperately close to winning. It just plays. The sort of pull stroke that you dream about. It's a clever stroke. 
And it brings up a 50 for David Bass. It's been a tremendous innings. Some good strokes, some clever batting, some excellent running between the wickets, and above all, played with uh, a very cool head. A super shot. And that is uh, a premeditated stroke. Got a man up inside uh, the circle at short fine leg, just inside those markers. You simply mustn't bowl anything round about leg stump. Lovely stroke. Four. Just punched away through mid on. It's uh, one of the hardest strokes to play. But David Bias has uh, silenced this Somerset crowd with that stroke. That's a lovely drive through the on side. Down to third, down to third man, and four. Nothing going Somerset's way at the moment. It's going to be a bridge too far, and when Jones launched at Lehman again, well, it was all over. Just would you believe, as the first spots of rain were starting to fall. Joyous scenes of celebration followed, and it has to be said, the sense of relief was almost tangible, both among supporters and players.